Top 10 Meanest Celebrities Who Lost All Their Fans Welcome to our channel, The Famous People. Today, we're diving into the darker side of fame with a countdown of the top 10 meanest celebrities who've lost the love of their fans. From behind-the-scenes diva moments to shocking public scandals, these stars have seen their reputations crumble. Stick around as we explore how their actions off-camera have damaged their careers and public image. Let's get started. Leah Michele Leah Michele gained widespread fame for her role as Rachel Berry on the hit TV show Glee. However, her off-screen behavior has become as notorious as her on-screen persona. Michelle has been accused of being difficult to work with, with reports of her treating her co-stars and crew members poorly. Actress Samantha Ware, who worked with Michelle on Glee, shared her experience, alleging that Michelle gave her the silent treatment, stared her down, and made passive-aggressive comments. Ware's revelations opened the floodgates, as other cast members and crew took to social media to share their own negative encounters with Michelle. In particular, Michelle was rumored to only speak to people through her assistant, refusing to acknowledge some of her co-stars. Her behavior on set created such a toxic environment that, even after her public apology, the damage to her reputation remained. Fans were particularly upset when Michelle was cast as Fanny Bryce in the Broadway production of Funny Girl, replacing Beanie Feldstein. Many felt that her past behavior had not been addressed properly, leading some to even call for a boycott of the show. Despite Michelle's apology and attempt at rehabilitation, the controversy has continued to cast a shadow over her career. While she remains a talented performer, the stories of her diva-like behavior have alienated a large portion of her fan base, and her reputation in Hollywood has not fully recovered. Once a beloved star of one of TV's biggest musical hits, Michelle now faces an ongoing struggle to regain the trust and support of her audience. Mike Myers Mike Myers, best known for his iconic roles in Austin Powers and Wayne's World, has developed a reputation for being difficult to work with behind the scenes. While his on-screen characters are beloved for their humor and charm, reports from co-stars and crew paint a very different picture of the actor in real life. Amy Hill, who worked with Myers on The Cat in the Hat, described the experience as a nightmare, revealing that he made everyone wait on set for hours and overruled the director's decisions. She even mentioned that he had someone solely dedicated to holding his personal chocolates. Myers has also been accused of having an overly controlling nature, demanding special treatment on set and being unapproachable by co-workers. His grumpy and demanding behavior has reportedly created tense working environments on multiple projects. Additionally, his interactions with fans have often been less than warm. One story details a fan offering to buy him a drink in appreciation of his work, only for Myers to rudely respond that he could afford his own drink and cursed at the fan. Despite his incredible success as a comedic actor, these stories have significantly damaged his reputation in the industry and among fans. Myers's difficult personality has shrunk his once large fan base, leaving many disillusioned with the man behind the comedy. Rachel Ray. Rachel Ray, a well-known celebrity chef and TV personality, has built a media empire with her cooking shows, cookbooks, and product lines. However, behind her cheerful on-screen persona lies a reputation for being cold and difficult to engage with. Fans who attend her live tapings have reported that Ray often appears disinterested, avoiding interaction with the audience and giving off an aloof vibe. This has led many to question whether her bubbly television personality is genuine or merely for show. Ray has also been at odds with fellow celebrity chefs. Martha Stewart and the late Anthony Bourdain were among those who publicly voiced their dislike for her, criticizing her cooking skills and approach to the culinary world. Even within her own family, Ray's behavior has raised eyebrows. In 2013, a scandal erupted when her aunt Geraldine tragically passed away while staying at Ray's home, and neither Ray nor her husband attended the funeral. This led to public criticism from her cousin, 
who called Ray's absence disrespectful and insensitive. These incidents have severely impacted her fan base, with many turning against her. Online forums dedicated to criticizing Ray, such as the notorious Rachel Ray Sucks blog, are filled with harsh opinions and stories of her negative interactions with both fans and colleagues. While she remains a household name, her cold demeanor has led to a notable decline in public support and enthusiasm for her work. Russell Crowe Russell Crowe, the Academy Award-winning actor best known for his roles in Gladiator and A Beautiful Mind, has developed a notorious reputation for his aggressive and volatile behavior, both on and off set. Despite his immense talent, Crowe's frequent outbursts have made him one of Hollywood's most controversial figures. His temper has been the source of numerous troubling incidents that have damaged his public image. One of the most infamous examples came in 2005, when Crow was arrested and charged with criminal possession of a weapon after throwing a phone at a hotel clerk during a dispute. The phone struck the clerk, cutting his eye, all because Crow was frustrated that he couldn't connect a call to his wife. Crow has also been known to lose his temper in the workplace. In 2002, he reportedly intimidated and attacked the producer of the BAFTA Awards after his acceptance speech was cut short. A particularly unsettling incident involves rapper Azealia Banks, who accused Crow of forcibly removing her from a party he hosted. According to Banks, Crow allegedly spat on her and used racist language during the altercation. While Crow denied these claims, the incident further tainted his reputation. He's also known for his difficult relationships with directors and writers, with reports of him frequently shouting at collaborators during heated phone calls. These incidents, coupled with his hostile attitude toward fans and colleagues, have significantly tarnished Crow's standing in Hollywood. Once hailed as one of the industry's greatest actors, his aggressive behavior has alienated many fans and damaged his professional relationships, leaving his once glowing career marred by controversy. Jared Leto Jared Leto, known for his dual career as an actor and the lead singer of 30 Seconds to Mars, has seen his reputation significantly decline in recent years due to troubling allegations about his personal conduct. Despite his success with roles in films like Dallas Buyers Club, for which he won an Academy Award, and his high-profile portrayal of the Joker in Suicide Squad, Leto has faced growing backlash for his alleged inappropriate behavior, particularly toward young women. In 2018, Sweet Life of Zack and Cody star Dylan Sprouse publicly called Leto out on Twitter accusing him of messaging every female model between the ages of 18 and 25. Sprouse's tweet quickly went viral, shedding light on Leto's supposed predatory behavior. Filmmaker James Gunn also chimed in, adding to the criticism by suggesting that Leto's behavior targeted even younger women. These allegations, though not legally proven, have cast a dark shadow over his public image, especially in the wake of the number Me Too movement. In addition to these disturbing claims, Leto has been accused of mistreating his fans. On several occasions, he was spotted giving the middle finger to audience members during performances, reinforcing the perception that he holds a contemptuous attitude toward the people who support his music and films. While his band, 30 Seconds to Mars, continues to have a cult following, his mainstream popularity has dwindled significantly as these stories continue to circulate. As a result, Leto's once rising star in Hollywood has been overshadowed by allegations of inappropriate behavior and his dismissive attitude toward fans, leaving his career tarnished and his reputation deeply damaged. Ellen DeGeneres Ellen DeGeneres once one of the most beloved talk show hosts in the world, has seen her reputation crumble in recent years due to allegations of creating a toxic work environment and being mean-spirited behind the scenes. Known for her sunny demeanor and the catchphrase, Be Kind, DeGeneres built her brand on humor and positivity, attracting millions of fans worldwide through The Ellen DeGeneres Show. However, 
The image she portrayed on camera clashed with numerous reports that emerged in 2020. In a bombshell BuzzFeed article, former and current employees spoke out, accusing Ellen of fostering a toxic workplace. Staff members alleged bullying, intimidation, and unfair treatment by senior management, with Ellen herself being described as unapproachable and cold. Some employees claimed that she enforced bizarre rules, like requiring staff to chew gum before speaking to her and would send people home if she thought they smelled bad. This stark contrast between her public persona and private behavior led to a major public backlash. Although Ellen apologized on air, many viewers felt the apology was insincere and the scandal severely damaged her credibility. Fans who once adored her for her generosity and humor were left disillusioned, with many abandoning her altogether. The controversy also led to a significant ratings drop for her show, which ultimately ended in 2022 after nearly two decades on air. Ellen's fall from grace highlighted how quickly public perception can shift, especially when the person in question is accused of hypocrisy. Despite her successful career and philanthropy, the workplace scandal has left a lasting stain on her once shining reputation. Catherine Zeta-Jones Catherine Zeta-Jones, an Academy Award-winning actress known for her roles in Chicago and The Mask of Zorro, has garnered attention not only for her acting talent, but also for her reported arrogance and self-centered attitude. While she has enjoyed a successful career in Hollywood, several incidents have caused fans and the public to view her in a different light. One of the most infamous stories about Catherine Zeta-Jones occurred in 1998, when an eight-year-old girl approached her at a screening of The Mask of Zorro to ask for advice on becoming an actress. Instead of offering encouragement, Zeta-Jones reportedly looked the girl up and down and sarcastically remarked, You're pretty enough, I suppose, before turning back to her conversation. This dismissive response left many questioning her humility and approachability. Over the years, Catherine Zeta-Jones has also made comments that further fed into her image of arrogance. In a 2018 interview, she candidly declared that she was sick of being humble, adding that she wasn't going to apologize for her success, wealth, or good looks. She has even boasted about her extravagant lifestyle, famously stating, a million dollars isn't a lot of money for people like us. These kinds of statements have alienated fans, painting her as out of touch with ordinary people. While Zeta-Jones remains a respected figure in the entertainment industry, her repeated self-praise and occasional condescension have made it difficult for many to relate to her. As a result, her public image has taken a hit, with fewer people willing to stand by her in the face of these controversies. Katherine Heigl Katherine Heigl, once a rising star in Hollywood, thanks to her roles in Grey's Anatomy and Knocked Up, saw her career take a significant downturn due to her reputation for being difficult to work with and her public criticism of her own projects. Her image of being ungrateful and hard to please has followed her for years, and it's drastically affected her relationships within the industry. Heigl first made waves in 2007 when Knocked Up, a critically acclaimed comedy, became a major box office success. However, in a 2008 interview with Vanity Fair, she criticized the film, calling it sexist, and saying that it portrayed women as shrews and humorless, while men were shown as fun-loving. This unexpected critique of her own movie angered both fans and the filmmakers, with many viewing her comments as biting the hand that fed her. Her tensions with Grey's Anatomy, the show that made her a household name, also contributed to her fall from grace. In 2008, Heigl publicly withdrew herself from Emmy consideration, claiming that she hadn't been given the material to warrant a nomination. This move not only embarrassed the show's writers, but also cemented her reputation as ungrateful and difficult. Afterward, her relationship with Grey's Anatomy creator Shonda Rhimes became strained, leading to Heigl's eventual departure from the show. Heigl's public statements, coupled with reports of her being unpleasant on set, 
caused her fan base and support in Hollywood to dwindle. Although she has attempted to rehabilitate her image in recent years, her early career missteps have left a lasting impression, and she has struggled to regain the superstar status she once enjoyed. Jamie Lynn Spears Jamie Lynn Spears, best known as the younger sister of pop icon Britney Spears, rose to fame in her own right with her role as Zoe Brooks on Nickelodeon's Zoe 101. However, her career and public image have been marred by controversy, particularly in relation to her sister's highly publicized conservatorship battle. While Jamie Lynn initially gained attention for her acting, much of the criticism she faces today stems from her alleged mistreatment of Britney over the years. In 2007, at just 16 years old, Jamie Lynn announced she was pregnant, which effectively ended her role on Zoe 101 and put her acting career on hold. While this made headlines at the time, her real fall from grace came during the number Free Britney movement. Fans of Britney Spears accused Jamie Lynn of not supporting her sister during Britney's 14-year-long conservatorship, which controlled nearly every aspect of the pop star's life. Jamie Lynn was also accused of benefiting financially from Britney's fortune during this time, further deepening the rift between her and Britney's loyal fan base. The situation worsened when Jamie Lynn published a tell-all memoir, Things I Should Have Said, in 2022. Many saw the book as an attempt to capitalize on Britney's struggles, with Jamie Lynn portraying herself as a victim while making her sister look bad. This sparked outrage among Britney's fans, who saw it as opportunistic and insensitive. As a result of her actions, Jamie Lynn has faced widespread backlash, and her fan base has dwindled significantly. Her strained relationship with Britney, combined with the public's perception of her as being unsupportive during her sister's darkest times, has left her reputation in tatters. Many now view her more as a controversial figure than a beloved former child star. Faye Dunaway Faye Dunaway, once hailed as one of Hollywood's greatest actresses with iconic roles in films like Bonnie and Clyde and Chinatown, has become infamous for her off-screen behavior. Over the years, Dunaway has developed a reputation for being extremely difficult to work with, earning her the label of one of Hollywood's meanest celebrities. Her career, though filled with critical acclaim, has been overshadowed by stories of her erratic and often abusive behavior on set. One of the most famous examples of her temper came from her co-star, Bette Davis, who once called Dunaway the worst person in Hollywood. Dunaway's on-set outbursts were legendary, and she was known for throwing tantrums, yelling at crew members, and demanding special treatment. In 2019, she was fired from the Broadway play T at Five for allegedly slapping crew members, throwing objects, and making bizarre demands, such as insisting no one wear white because it was distracting. Her reputation for hostility extends beyond film sets. In one notorious incident during the filming of Chinatown, she reportedly threw a cup of urine at director Roman Polanski after he refused to let her take a bathroom break. Her behavior has also carried over into everyday life. She has been known to berate service workers, and one flight attendant claimed Dunaway yelled, Don't you know who I am? When her seat wasn't upgraded to first class as she expected. Dunaway's behavior has led to a significant loss of fans and roles over the years. Despite her undeniable talent and career achievements, her diva-like antics and mistreatment of others have left her with a tarnished reputation in Hollywood, making her more infamous than admired in her later years. While these celebrities have achieved fame and success, their off-screen behavior has significantly impacted their careers and relationships with fans. From diva-like demands to public controversies, it's clear that fame can come with its own set of challenges. But what do you think? Do these stars deserve a second chance, or is their behavior too damaging to forgive? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and share your thoughts. And if you want to stay updated with more stories about famous personalities, be sure to subscribe to The Famous People for all the latest content. 
Your support helps us continue bringing you the stories behind the stars.